So in this problem, it says, assume that a sample is used to estimate a population mean. All right, so we're gonna have some sort of sample mean or X bar used to estimate a population mean of mu. It says find the 90% confidence interval. All right, for a sample size of 858, with an X bar or a mean of 22.6 and a standard sample standard deviation of 16.8. So in order to get the 90% uh, confidence interval or confidence interval for any mean where you are given sample data, okay, you're gonna have to use the critical T value. So the formula is gonna become X bar plus or minus your critical T I'm assuming this question wants you to use critical T, times the sample standard deviation over the square root of N, okay? Now, the way you're going to find T star, I'm actually gonna use a calculator for that, all right? So the T, if I think about the T distribution, if I think about the T distribution, since N is 858, the degrees of freedom is gonna be one less than that, all right? So what I want, I want 90% confidence. So I want the middle area to be 90%. And each of the tails would have 0.05 because there's 10% remaining and half uh, is, is in each tail. So T star is gonna be right here, okay? And I'm gonna use a calculator to figure out what T star is, okay? So in a calculator, this total area, okay, up to where T star is would be 0.95 because you have 0.05 to the left and you have 0.9 in the center. So in my TI-84 calculator, I'm gonna do inverse T with a left area of 0.95 with degrees of freedom equal to 857. And the calculator tells me that T star or your critical T is going to be equal to 1.64663529. Now I'm just going to store that in my calculator because I'm going to need that in the calculation. All right. Now that I have that, I can plug in all the numbers here, okay? So X bar, okay, let me do it in a different color here. X bar is 22.6 plus or minus this T star, all right, which I've already stored into the calculator, okay, T star times S, your sample standard deviation, which is 16.8, over the square root of N, your sample size, which is 858. All right, so let's calculate this number, whatever this is gonna be. This, what I'm circling is called the margin of error. All right, so if I take that 1.64663529, multiply it by 16.8, over the square root of 858, okay? The margin of error, so this is gonna become 22.6 plus or minus 0 0.944413821, okay? So if you were to subtract that to, to get your lower bound, you would take 22.6 minus the 0.9444. And to get your upper bound, you would take 22.6 plus 0.9444. All right. So if I were to calculate that out, okay, the lower bound would be 21.65, if I round to three places, six, 
And on this side, it would be 23.544. All right, so that means mu, the true mean, we're 90% confident that the true mean falls between there. Okay, and if you have a TI-84 calculator, you can actually confirm that. If you go to stat, then go over to your test sections and run a T interval. Okay. I'm just going to verify that this is correct by using the T interval test on my calculator. So X bar is 22.6. Standard deviation is 16.8. Sample size is 858. My confidence level is 0.90. I'm going to calculate 21.656. That number agrees with what my calculator says and 23.544, all right? So that is the correct answer, assuming that your teacher wants you to use a T interval and not a Z interval. But you should be using a T interval because the sample standard deviation is known and not the population. So that will do it for this video. Thank you.